Earlier in the week, my female clownfish jumped out of the tank. The best theory as to why is that uh, she had a clutch of eggs that were adhering to a rock over there at the side. The male clownfish guards the eggs, and it's possible that during the night she wanted to uh, cozy up with him and he didn't like it, didn't realize it was her or whatever, and chased her, bit her, and she ended up coming out of the tank. That's just one theory. I wasn't wasn't awake for it. Came up, uh, woke up in the morning to go to work. I, I go to work early, and she was on the floor, already dead. Had clearly been there for uh, several hours. So it's very sad because she was an older clownfish. Clownfish can live around 14 years. So she had been in the tank for a good long time. So what I've done is I've purchased a black oscillaris, uh, Amphiprion oscillaris. And you can see the little tiny thing swimming around there. It's important when you introduce a new clownfish that it gets along. So they need to be of the same species. And it's very good to have it be a juvenile. Clownfish are an interesting fish in that they change sex. So the male, which is the, the larger of the two you see now, will actually become a female and grow much larger. And then the, the little one will become the male. If you have a large group of clownfish, then you will have one female, one male, and the rest of the group will remain immature and in a, in a juvenile stage. So it's a very, very interesting uh, way that they do it. So what I had expected when I put the, the little black one in <clears throat> is that it would take a little while for it to host with the anemone and that there would be some sparring between the clownfish in the tank and the, and the new little one. What happened was quite different. The black one went right over to the sea bay anemone started hosting with it, and the uh, male did nothing. They have been just kind of hanging out together since I put it in the tank. Uh, no, no sparring, no fear, no issues, and uh, so that's great for me. I was really happy to see that, and uh, they're going to you know, become a happy little pair. Clownfish are, are great fish. My favorite species are these uh, Amphiprion oscillaris, um, often sold as false percola. Uh, so, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. It was a, a kind of sad experience for me because, uh, like I said, that clownfish I'd had it for a while, and you do get attached to fish, especially ones with as much personality as clownfish have. And they were a mated pair, and they would spawn regularly. So. It'll, it'll take these two, they'll eventually become a mated pair, and that's an, an interesting thing, is that the male will be the one laying the eggs in the future when he becomes the female. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.